Hi, Mike O'Connor from New Voodoo's marketing team. Today, we are excited to announce a new initiative to help stations take advantage of the migration of radio listeners back to the job site or the office. Over the past two years, we've been helping clients optimize their marketing based on stay at home, work from home kind of reality. From the top testing digital foundational four channels to exciting new platforms like connected TV and over the top video marketing. But now that more and more listeners are slowly returning to a pre-pandemic way of life, although the Delta variant has stalled progress a tad and there's always the threat of a new mutation, our research does confirm that what you are likely seeing with your own eyes is actually true. It's time for radio to pivot and reboot the commute. And that's where our new digital out of home capability fits in. Yep, we're talking about digital billboards, digital transit shelters, shelters, sorry, a little hard for me to say, and signs through which advertising can be purchased programmatically, just like how we manage traditional digital campaigns for radio stations. We focus on hot zips, establishing a dominant presence in the parts of the metro where meters are placed or diaries fall, and then we geofence every billboard, every transit shelter, every out-of-home asset, so that when people and their smartphones pass within the confines of the geofence, and by geofence, we mean the radius that we put around each sign, we're able to retarget devices that match station demographics, and that means we can boost campaigns with added frequency. Lee Jacobs is our head of research analysis at New Voodoo, and Lee, we recently completed another quick turn study that really does validate this strategy, particularly for radio stations targeting those most likely to participate in the ratings. Thanks, Mike. Indeed, our October quick turn study of nearly 1,200 respondents, ages 18 to 54 nationwide, shows that well over half say they habitually notice advertising out of all on billboards and other outdoor displays. If we model the performance, we'd expect to see from respondents who'd likely to participate within the Nielsen ratings methodology, using coefficients we've derived from the past new voodoo, the past four new voodoo ratings prospect studies, we'd expect to see three and four ratings likely 25 to 54s noticing billboard and outdoor advertising. These days, smartphone apps on their own have a tremendous reach into our lives. And we see here that among the 2554s on our October quick turn study, over 60% say they notice ads on smartphone apps, which models to over 80% among those likely to participate in Nielsen methodology. So if we deduplicate the reach of out-of-home billboards and outdoor ad awareness and the reach available using smartphone apps in our October study, we cover better than three and four among the 25 54s, and that models to nearly all the 25 to 54s likely to participate in the Nielsen sample. It's a potent combination. Especially in light of this trend line from Nielsen Audio's latest consumer sentiment survey, we'll be eager to see what the October data from Nielsen shows, but they're already showing seven in 10 working Americans now working outside the home. That's a key finding since consumers spend more time with radio when they travel to work. As you're about to learn, combining digital out of home with mobile and other digital retargeting, it really does work. It moves digital metrics, not to mention Nielsen numbers in the few markets we've tested this out in so far. Uh, but don't take my word for it. At New Voodoo, we are not suddenly snapping our fingers and uh, proclaiming ourselves to be the out of home media experts. Instead, we've added expertise and a new member to our team. Andrea Parrick joins New Voodoo after a decade and a half at Clear Channel Outdoor. While there, she led the development and rollout of digital out-of-home, mobile, and other data products across their 40-plus U.S. markets, responsible not only for local application, but regional and national advertiser solutions as well. In the past few years, she's also owned the marketing rollout and education of CCO's digital programmatic solutions. Andrea, welcome. It's really great to have you on the team. And now our radio clients have lots of experience buying traditional outdoor, but they've got access to you. It's long been a part of our marketing tool set for the industry. But what you're about to share with us really does take things to a whole new level. Thanks, Mike. Yeah, I'm very excited to work with New Voodoo on the out-of-home offering, which is adding to our strategic media solutions that impact radio listeners and driving ratings. And then in addition to the reasons you provided why, of why out-of-home is relevant today, the industry has also evolved dramatically and embraced solutions that make it easier to buy and integrate with other channels. One of the biggest enhancements has been the move to programmatic for digital out-of-home displays. 
This is because programmatic digital at home offers more centralized buying solutions. So advertisers can reach audiences across markets and vendors. And while my experience is just with Clear Channel, we'll talk a little bit more about how this reaches across all the different platforms and, and displays that uh, radio advertisers can use in order to reach their customers. In addition to that, some of the ad additional benefits include that it's a flexible, cost-efficient way for advertising on premium digital locations. Uh, additionally, you can apply the same audience and location targeting as online media, which is a big part of our coordinated campaign solution. Programmatic Out of Home also gives you more control over timing. Depending on the campaign objective, you may want to heavy up on day parts, day of the week, the start of the end of the campaign. Uh, so a little bit more uh, flexibility there than you would get if you were just buying direct. Plus it offers really transparent reporting. That's one of the things that people ask us about in out of home the most is where am I going to be? Uh, what are the types of audiences that I'm gonna reach? Uh, because the displays are all managed digitally, there's a detailed reporting available on where and when ads were shown, similar to other media proof of performance, which includes things like real-time heat maps that are shown here on the screen for some campaigns. And finally, as we mentioned, out of home can help your mobile and digital media work better as it serves as a primer for advertisers promoting your message. So people are more likely to take action when they have the opportunity to on a digital device. We'll talk about all these points a little bit later as we go through the webinar, uh, but, but let's go back to the scale and flexibility of programmatic out of home on the next slide. I mentioned how you can buy programmatic out of home across vendors and display types. And these are just some of the highlights on the scale and the variety of coverage available. We're able to access over 70% of digital out of home screens worldwide, ranging from almost 6,000 plus roadside displays to the more personal screens within entertainment venues and malls. This allows us to find the best solution across the markets, zips, neighborhoods, and the audiences that you wanna reach and create a campaign that has multiple touch points depending on the needs of your brand. For instance, we love the big roadside displays that reach lots of commuters and especially for radio can influence them to change or program the dial while in car. But you can also incorporate select lifestyle displays reaching specific audience groups like an AC station using elevator displays within office buildings to get them to tune in at work. And on the next slide, you have more detail on the variety of vendors that are making their solutions available programmatically from the major billboard companies to the digital taxi tops, and even displays within brands like Top Golf targeting sports enthusiasts. The diversity of screens available programmatically can help you create a more unique connection with key audiences in addition to the big impression you make with billboards. Also like digital media, which is a core part of our offering to integrate everything, we leverage many of the same partners for data and measurement like Foursquare, Nielsen, Catalina, and Experian to provide ratings and audience metrics for out-of-home displays like digital in a privacy-safe manner. This also helps us better understand the influence out-of-home has on campaign objectives, like whether or not out-of-home does actually influence people to tune into a TV show or download an audio app. Later, we'll provide a couple of case studies that show you examples of how out-of-home can work for you as it has for other adv advertisers. But for now, let's get back to the integrated offering and how we're combining out of home with mobile, video, and digital campaigns. I need a minute. <laughs> I know I had mentioned earlier that we created a turnkey solution that combines out of home with mobile and digital retargeting so you can reach and find influencers like ratings participants at different touch points throughout the day. Maybe you could tell us a little bit about how that works. Yeah, so first we use your key market areas and audiences, campaign timing, some of the things that you usually put into a digital campaign to create an out-of-home recommendation. So this typically means we're selecting out-of-home displays within your key zips that reach a higher percentage of your demographic audience. Then once the creative is ready and for the few select display sizes, we move on to the next step which is that the campaign goes live and it's delivered on all those screens that best reach your target audience as they move around the market. For instance, you might be reaching a Gen Xer adult across roadside displays while commuting to work during one part of their day, 
but then around their neighborhood grocery store via digital kiosks at night or even around a popular event center on the weekend. Now this is done using mobile device information combined with things like in-car navigation insights, census data, even survey verification, understand where people go throughout their day. And it's been a core part of out-of-home ratings and measurement for the past decade, but it's gotten more precise with the evolution of technology like 5G. And although we're able to share more detail on this, we'll save that deeper tech talk for another time. So this does, however, create an opportunity to um, utilize the information on the mobile devices of the people that are being exposed to your ad um, that we can pass through to a digital partner where we continue to reach them with mobile ads for the duration of the campaign. It's worth noting here that that step is all being handled in an anonymized fashion through a variety of privacy compliant vendors who are verifying the data for accuracy along, or accuracy along the way. So in this case, nobody is grading their own homework. And again, it's all done in a very privacy compliant manner. From there, the mobile ads, once they're passed along to the digital vendor, can be a bigger part of that mobile and digital campaign. So they continue to promote your message to consumers who also saw the out of home, plus reach them through their other devices like desktops through cross device targeting. And again, this is all coordinated with your digital and video campaign to reach the audiences within those zips. So that way we're balancing reach and frequency to create the most impactful audience experience and kind of move that, that needle. And then finally, in addition to the digital reporting, you'll get metrics on the out-of-home locations, impressions by demographic and more. So that way we can kind of verify the out-of-home delivery, very similar to what you're used to for digital. So that's uh, how the solution works. Let's review some ways that integrated out-of-home and digital can work together for radio. Um, so there's some core ways that out of home is primarily used. And as mentioned, the two working together can provide greater results. First, the most common reasons advertisers use out of home is to target people in prime locations, such as their daily commute to work or near retail hotspots or around a stadium during a sports season. When you pair this with location targeted to digital, the two media work together to drive greater response. So out of home promotes, promotes your message during that relevant moment and digital reinforces it along the way and gives the consumer a way to act, like click through to your site or enter a contest for a chance to win. Additionally, we've discussed how out of home can be used to target demographic groups by placing billboards in key areas or zips with a higher concentration of your audience and how these segments can be applied to reach them on devices. And finally, one additional way that you can use out of home and the flexibility of digital specifically is by messaging in real time during a time of day and changing your message for things like weather conditions, sports scores, et cetera. And then pairing that with kind of that contextual targeting of digital, which is becoming a bigger uh, way that people are utilizing digital um, moving into the future. For example, you may wanna use out of home in the morning day part to promote a new morning show personality that you want people to listen to which will pair with digital ads that introduce your new host across local news sites. There are a variety of ways we can tailor your out of home and digital campaign to the unique needs of a specific station or format to address the objectives you need to accomplish. And these are just a few. Speaking of objectives, the most important reason we're offering integrated out of home solutions is that it works really well at influencing media choices. And I've said that a bunch of times throughout the, uh, this presentation, but let's hone in on a couple examples that we've selected from a wide variety of campaigns because they're scenarios that we, where the um, advertiser had to be very strategic about the audience targets and budget. The first campaign all the way on the left uh, targeted adults 25 to 54 who were heavy TV viewers and influencers in two key markets. And they use digital audience segments to find the locations that were most likely to reach that audience, like we're proposing as a part of this solution. The goal was to drive viewership to a new video on demand series. So think of a major network like Amazon, Netflix, or Hulu um, launching a new series and trying to get people to watch. Then they compared the show viewing behaviors of those who saw the out of home campaign to those who did not, and found that within two weeks of the series release, those who were not exposed to the out of home 
um, I'm sorry, those who were <laughs> exposed to the out of home had a six time higher tune in rate than those who were not. Also, we worked with a popular audiobook streaming service who wanted to increase installs of their app and use programmatic out of home during peak weekend drive times in four key East Coast markets to reach those uh, weekend beachgoers and vacationers in order to kind of get that weekend road trip by. The app install rate was slightly higher than their benchmark um, that they were used to from digital advertising. And they were able to determine that 50% of the installs were by those who were exposed to the out of home only. And finally, for the advertiser who wanted to drive 18 to 34 year olds to the major streaming, their major streaming platform, they saw four times the amount of visitors as a result of an out of home campaign than their typical visitor rate. And 40% of those people were new visitors as well. So it's because of exa examples like these that we're really excited to add out a home as another way for radio advertisers to reach listeners and meet their goals. Now wrap up everything we discussed here. Uh, New Food is offering an out of home solution because it's a proven way for radio stations to reach listeners, especially as people are happier than ever to get out of their home and back in the car at the moment that they can tune in and has brought in out-of-home expertise to deliver efficient, cost-effective campaigns that fit radio budgets and deliver them in a timely targeted manner for, through programmatic channels. Finally, we're coordinating them with mobile display and video retargeting to reach listeners throughout their day and drive the best results. And Andrea, I know we're uh, really looking forward to working with you and you're going to be a part of uh, client uh, consulting so we'll actually, you will, you'll actually be able to talk uh, directly to radio stations that are interested in out of home and really uh, become an integrated expert. We're really looking forward uh, to working with you over the next uh, year or two. If you enjoy seeing uh, new Voodoo product announcements like our out of home strategy today or the research videos that show up uh, regularly uh, in your YouTube feed, be sure to give today's video a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, ring that alert bell and you'll be notified about future free research as soon as we post it. New Voodoo uses its own proprietary ongoing research to validate every marketing strategy used on behalf of clients. We're always available to answer your questions and help you with plans. Please contact us if we can be of assistance. And thanks for watching today's presentation.